Hello ladies and gentlemen, to the first ever 3D and compositing quick tip. This one is about uh, Octane renderer and especially about how to work with motion blur inside of Octane. As you know from the disclaimer in these quick tips, I usually make just small stuff, mostly not very advanced stuff, it's mostly uh, like little problems you encounter on your, on your work. And this one was a question by a friend of mine. Uh, he, he did just start working with Octane Renderer and had some issues with motion blur. Right now I'm just making a setup for my little test, which will be a dynamic simulation. And we just make a little coral box without the coral textures, give it a little bit of bounciness and to make it more complicated, I add a group, put two spheres in it, like sphere one, sphere two. So we're gonna give the spheres as well simulation tech, which is just the rigid body, and we put it as well a little bit on the bouncy side, and let's see what happened here. Boing, boing, boing. Okay, let's put third one to 25 and we need to add the octane camera tag and in here for everyone of you who don't know about shutter speed read about it this is like the most important thing here usually when I work with 25 frames per second I use a shutter of 150 this is called a 180 degree shutter and this gives. I made sure I just add the octane render. Oh, let's add some daylight. Put in some actual. Well, not actual time, but like. Hmm, something red. 6 o'clock in the evening. And give it a bit of light of shadow. And we might want to see the motion blur in the shadow as well. If I start it now, nothing happens because we need an octane object tag. The reason that I put it on a group is in larger scenes you might not want to put an oct octane tag to every object in your scene. And now I just reset the scene and reset the render, put play and we have motion blur. And we have motion blur in the shadows and an object. If you don't need a motion blur on one of these spheres we just add another object tag on that one. Just reset the animation and you might want to disable the object motion blur in that sphere. So if you start it now, we have motion blur on the right sphere and we don't have motion blur on the left one. Yeah, that's about motion blur. Thanks for listening and see you next time.